Hey, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at some various Reddit topics, have some discussions, and uh, no news update for today. It's the weekend. They usually don't post too often on the weekend, but we're also kind of mid-update right now, so we probably won't get anything spectacular, at least for a couple weeks, and then they'll start dropping some uh, hints for the next update, but it is going to be a little bit, so we're going to have to rely on, you know, some community things doing some dream snaps some decorating and all that fun stuff and of course check out some topics we're gonna hop over to scrooge's shop real fast just to see if he's got anything new for us today and then jump right into it if you guys haven't hit that like button for me yet i would really appreciate it subscribe to the channel and let's get started all right what do we have today um a bunch of older stuff okay we have oh, i do have that tv all right anything up here oh <gasps> I got rocker. Oh my gosh, yes! I got it. I just unlocked the smaller version from the Star Path. Let's freaking go. We got the tall training tent. Let's take a look at this bad boy while, while we got this nice uh, lighting. We're gonna use Scro uh, Scrooge's electric bill for a second and make good use of it. Look at that. It literally goes all the way to the ceiling. It actually goes past the ceiling. Dang, 24,000. Yeah, you can't even see the flag. Okay, we're gonna have to take this outside. That is so awesome. All right, let's slap this sucker down. Dang, it is literally massive. Does the does the flag actually animate? Oh, it actually moves. Look at that. Okay, nothing on the back. It doesn't look like you can interact with it at all. What about nighttime? Let's switch it to nighttime real quick. No light. I was hoping there'd be like a little light. Oh, you can actually see through it and then through the back side. Okay, so that's bugged. Yeah, you can actually look through it. And then look at that. You can see all the way. Like there's no inside wall. It's just the front. That is crazy. All right, well, now you guys know. Keep your eye out for this item. Hopefully you get it soon. All right, so I'm Casey OK said. I'm begging for a birthday event i get so happy and excited for these surveys so they release what events did you all request so they said i would love to see an event for players birthdays all of the villagers could bring your character special birthday theme items yes that would actually be amazing because we're always giving the villagers stuff when are they going to give back to us i mean i guess we get it in the mail now they kind of give us some gifts or even like a village like a letter from the villager in the mail on your actual birthday would be really cool but imagine if they had like customized lines for just in general so whenever it is your birthday in game the players say something about it wishing you happy birthday this is such a great idea i'm i wish we could see what everybody decided to put down over here i may open up something in discord and just see what players ideas were because you guys are like the best idea generators and i absolutely would love this if you guys would be interested in this let us know also let us know what your idea was for like these new in-game event themes but that's just way too cool all right, so Moon Fairy said, does anyone else really wish they could turn this off? I've got more than enough resources and they just get in the way now. Oh, yeah. Like the little icebergs, the stumps, the coral, the mushrooms. I completely agree. I definitely wish there was a toggle, especially if you have like paths and stuff down, they grow on it. You know, I haven't been to my Sunlit Plateau in a while, but it was set up really nicely. And then I went over there the other day. So many paths were blocked because I had it over in the sunlit. I had the bone spawn and pathways. I had to get out my shovel, get rid of it. And it pretty much just disrupted my entire build. And it takes so much work to get it all cleaned up. Having the a vacuum for a lot of stuff is nice, but having these big things you have to manually do. I also wish, or if you could have it like specific to certain biomes, like maybe you don't want any of that stuff to spawn only in your frosted hides. Having the option to toggle that off or the time bending orbs would be nice. They did change the time bending orbs where they're smaller instead of them being really big. But that to me doesn't even make sense either. Because if I don't want the time bending orbs in there at all, having it smaller where it's actually harder for me to notice if it's in the middle of a dream snap doesn't really help me out. But, you know, they're... It was the thought that counts, I suppose. This would be a great feature for them to add for sure. 
basically Marto said, so I changed Wally's dream style and now I've got two. <laughs> best glitch ever. Let's go. Unfortunately, the twin Wally disappeared as soon as I left the house, but I wouldn't mind having two versions of my favorite character at once. That would be cool. Imagine if you could like glitch out your dream style versions and just have multiple of each character. I would love that. And having two Wallys is just the cutest thing ever. I feel like they would be good friends with each other, you know? I mean, look at them. They just look like they need some love. Tuesday Grace said that's the opposite of a problem. <laughs> Best glitch, for real. Uh, I'd be laughing if this wasn't so inconvenient. On Xbox, haven't submitted a ticket yet. Okay, what happened? Oh, you throw all oh, the pumpkin literally rolls out. I gotta check this out. What? Okay, is that a real thing? Let me go to my cooking station over here. So I'm assuming it's just for this one here. So we need a pumpkin. A pumpkin. Oh, wait, I don't have any pumpkins. Oh, here we go. I have a lot. 563. I mean, it is like the size of it. Oh, wait, mine worked. Hold up. Oh, wait, yeah, it's, it's working for me. Well, maybe it's depending on the platform. Okay, so it's just from actually clicking on it and having it like auto add it and it rolls out. So that definitely is a big issue. Um, you could auto fill it right here, of course. Someone said, I had that issue too. I had to start drag and dropping the items into the pot. I still have to do that now, even with the updates. I play on Mac and Switch though. So it does seem like uh, we experience more and more bugs by the day. I mean, we already experienced one with the at the beginning of the video. So now if you run into this issue, you know what to do to fix it. Oh, here we go. Here's a spicy post. Why was there no Hades in the survey? We had Hercules and Meg, but no Hades. I got to agree with this. And they actually mentioned Hades in a previous survey. And then they didn't on this one. Now, I do think we need to add some more villains. I mean, having the same villains, Ursula... And then Mother Gothel, mainly Mother Gothel does get kind of old and repetitive. We need some new flair. We need some new spice added to the valley. And Hades just has that. He has that flair that's really just going to ramp up. the. I think it's, he's going to be funny in the valley. And we could definitely use him. It's kind of like a version of Ursula. But Hades would be just too cool. I'm hoping with some new announcements, you know, after the Tiana update, we actually end up getting a lot of Hercules themed stuff. I kind of feel like they're hinting towards Hercules, you know, Megara, maybe Hades being in either future free content or a future DLC. So I'm not giving up hope just because Hades is not in the survey. It is still possible that they're going to bring him to the game. Winter Spirefield said, my hope is that they're already working on the next DLC with Hades as the big bad. Why ask if it's already set in stone? I kind of agree with that too. So it's like, maybe they already know. Like, this is what we want. Maybe they already have it in the works. And that could be, you know, we got Jafar with the first one. Maybe Hades is going to be the big bag in the next, a bad in the next one. They've given us so many Hercules items already and hints towards it that they could be prepping us for a future expansion. Okay, Sully really said, put me on your hair routine. Wait, he said... Excuse me, I was uh, wondering what kind of conditioner do you use and he's saying it's a beast. He's like, oh, pardon me? <laughs> oh, that is too funny that they actually added little things. I don't think I've ever seen that interaction there, but it's too funny that they added it where the two like hairiest characters in the game are literally trying to make their hair as silky and as smooth as possible. I love that. That is too cute. And of course, Donald over here just laid out. And the last post we're going to take a look at is by Deminox here. They said, yesterday, no memory spawn for Inside Out 2. Today, I end with only 164 plus this guy. The event ends soon. I somehow need to get 35 more in, what, two days? Pretty sure that's impossible, but this is insulting. So they actually reset uh, yesterday or the day before. They actually reset all the memories, so they should have got out of the glitch spot. Now, you could still just keep checking all of the locations and see if they've actually spawned there. Make sure you've double checked everywhere. And also, just getting regular memory orbs will count. Even after the event ends, they did state that you can still just go out and get regular memories from cooking, some fishing. So you may have to cook up a bunch of stuff. You may have to go take a biome, get out your shovel, and just keep digging for days until you get the memory orbs to actually spawn. Uh, they haven't mentioned anything about extending the event or anything like that. So unfortunately, 
that is what we're gonna have to do unless you contact a game loft support and hopefully they'll reset your game within the next day or two and then you can get back at it but i think that's all we can do at this point but that's it for today's video i really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch it i hope you guys have a really good day and i'll see you in the next one